Until you have loved an animal, you have not had your soul touched. When people do talk about your family, who are the important people in your life? It's the people that bring me joy, the animals, the, the birds. When I wake up every day, I am so thrilled to walk out and to be welcomed by the call of a peacock, the little dog that runs up and wags his tail, a horse that just loved to see me. They have all been my gurus. We are almost looking at life with blinkers, and animals have taught me to take the blinkers off and see what lessons I am being prepared for. If I'm open to them, I will get them. As a young boy, I was always out and about finding little creatures. I guess in many ways they found me. If one of them was needing some help, some care, I was there for them. Getting a little bird that had fallen out of a nest, learning how to feed it, finding a little bird with a damaged wing and trying my best to try and splint it. Those early experiences have just evolved into us now having a farm. Every animal and bird that is here has had a very sad beginning and has ended up now being comfortable, loved, cared for, looked after. It's a place where you can be who you are and to feel safe and be safe. It really is quite a difficult part of our life on the farm to have to say goodbye. When that animal is no longer with you, the grief and pain is immense. But I have realized over time that we've all been lent to this earth. And just as one day we are going to have to move on, it is the case with every animal on this farm. When the time does come, it is so important that when that animal needs you in those last minutes, last hours, that you're there for it. We have then had to be brave, and it's all about the animal, not about us. One of the things that I do say to the animal is thank you. Thank you for coming to us. Thank you for what you have given us in our life, making our life richer and happier. Just thank you for being you. After the passing, that's when the bucket of tears opens and it's never easier. It never is a process that you can just say, oh, well, it's over. It isn't. That is the beginning of a, of a grief period. Those emotions help me to actually find closure. Closure is a massive, massive 
part in our lives that many people don't have perhaps the courage, they haven't had the experience of being with somebody, be it a human or an animal, in those last moments. As a child, when I did take a little injured bird in and after caring for it for days, it didn't make it. Um, the tears I weeped then, um, I still weep now. I always like to think of it as tears of happiness that actually roll down my cheeks because it's the happy times that I think of. That helps to actually have closure. My purpose in life is to try and bring as much joy to those around me. And one of the most natural things is to smile and laugh and to have the joy of hearing yourself laugh. Our animals on the farm help us so often to do that. Be in the moment and enjoy that moment. Don't always try and capture it. Just enjoy the moment and laugh, laugh lots. mantra that I guess I live by is just gratitude. Being grateful for what I am, grateful for what I have around me, and I have great gratitude for being able to live my dream. I have been so rich not money in the bank, but I have been so rich. I'm a millionaire in happiness. There are times in my life where I wish I could live double my age. I would, of course, love to continue living eternally, but I will. <laughs> I actually will, I'll be around this place for a long time. I'll be loving my animals. Even though my body may not be, my soul is here to stay. Thanks to all of you who helped make this film possible. All of our films are totally crowdfunded. So if you'd like to continue to support us on our journey, check out our Green Renaissance page on Patreon.